lower third is a combination of text and graphical elements placed in the lower area of the screen that is commonly used to display contextual information such as a person's name, location, or some other relevant information. And basically, the lower third itself could be designed however you want, as long as it keeps presenting the information that is clear and easy to read. So in this video, I'll show you how to create the clean one like this. And by the way, you can download these assets on the link in the description below. Go ahead to check out and download it for free. And in case you are new to this channel and unfamiliar with the page, here is how you can download it. Just click the link, choose the project or the template that you want. Once it opens, you can scroll down to see the requirements and how you can download it. Alright, let's go ahead with the checkout form. Here you can put zero to get it for free, then add to cart. Fill in your email, then click on get. Or if you put the price by 2, 5 or more as suggested, then you can use your card or paypal to process the download. Like those names on the preview, they put some or even more than suggested. So thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Alright, after that you can go ahead to process the download. Then don't forget to leave your sign by rating the project right here. Alright, let's jump onto the video to show you how I created that lower third. And later on, I also show you how to edit the templates to make it clear on the screen. So let's get started. Alright, first of all, let's go to annotation and grab one text. Type in your name and the font I use Roboto in bold, then the size 164. Now copy this text for the profession Then switch back the style to regular Now select both, then apply the reveal for the behaviors Type first to last Movement is out back Direction from bottom Speed keep it 88 with no offset During none and for the out, the same type for the last, but the movement is in back direction to the bottom, same speed 88 and no offset. simple as that and that is the basic concept of a lower third in this tutorial. After that we can make few changes and add some elements to get more variations. For example, I can switch the alignment to the left. Let's copy this one and use this new text for the first name and this one becomes a second name. Then for the profession, Let's just decrease the size a little bit. Then let's reveal them sequentially. right line as a separation between names and the profession animate it with the custom animation by revealing or making it like sketching from left to the right. Don't forget to enable easing to exponential in or out. And go back from the right to the left. This text 
must go back to the left as well. Alright, after that, just select all, then group them. Now we can place it in the lower area of the screen. And don't forget to resize it to canvas size, otherwise the animation will be cut off by the size of its group. Alright, that's it. So simple and easy to create. And you can try it yourself to get more variation if you want. But if you don't have time or patience to explore it, I have done some of them as you saw in the intro. And now let me show you how to customize it. Alright, so after you download and import the zip file, here you can find some of the assets that you can choose from. Alright, let's just try this one for example. Now you can go to these quick properties for simple editing, like changing names and colors, or you can go deeper by opening each group for more editing. For example, if this line is too short, then let's align it with the name. Or if this text is too small, then you can increase its size as well. Alright, after that, you can place it in the lower third area as usual. And don't forget to resize the group back to canvas size. Now we can do one more thing to make this lower third looks clean and easy to read. Alright, just go to annotation, then add a rectangle. Make it fit the canvas. Change the fill to gradient and the color make it gray or the one between black and white. Now right click, then add the color adjustment. Full contrast and set the brightness to zero so that we get the black and white gradient like this. Now copy the shape. Remove the effect. Set the fill back to solid. Then for the color, make it black for now. After that, move the shape below the first one and then get back to the shape. Then add one more effect which is media mate and set the mode to luminosity invert. Now you can reset the black area by using this brightness value or with the color like this. Then move the lower third above the shape. And instead of black, you can also apply any color if you want. Or just make it match with the background. That's it, so rough but I hope you got the idea. Whether you wanna try to create yourself or use the template, I hope this content helps you better at editing using Camtasia. So thank you for watching, thanks for the support, stay creative and have a great day.